Hello Internet, welcome to Merlin's Archery Adventures. Okay, so it looks like we might actually get a summer here in the UK, so uh, taking full advantage of that, I've come outside again. And today we're going to be looking at this. This is the Win & Win RCX 17 Black. Now this is Win & Win's um, little field boat. Uh, this particular model is only 62 inches. It comes in a 60 and a 58, depending on what limbs you go for. Um, obviously being called the 17, that refers to the 17 inch riser. So you've got some very long limbs on there, which gives you a lovely smooth draw. Now, um, I, I, covered, uh, I covered most of, uh, most of the stuff we're going to talk about in the unboxing, so uh, we'll just go over it again briefly. Um, obviously, I'll put a link to, to the unboxing video, but it's made of, it's a carbon riser, a solid carbon riser. It's not blown carbon, um, so it's a little bit heavier in the hand than you'd expect, but it's still uh, mass weight weighs in, the whole thing weighs in at uh, about two and a half pounds. So it's, it's still, a, still a nice, uh, light little bow. I personally can't get over how good looking this bow is. It's a sexy little bow, if a bow can indeed be sexy, but we'll discuss that at a later date. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be making some comparisons between this and the, and the Hoyt Buffalo. Now on uh, appearances alone, um, this bow knocks the Hoyt Buffalo into a, a cocked hat. But uh, like I say, the proof of the pudding is in the eating, so we're gonna have to shoot it, see how the two compare. Um, I've set this up to shoot it off the shelf. It is. Um, it's got a very generous shelf on it, so it's uh, it's actually cut past centre. So um, what I've actually uh, what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm going to be shooting a slightly stiffer arrow than I was out of the uh, of the Hoyt. Um, but we should still get a feel of um, how things go. I also wanted it to uh, to run it to, through a crony, but unfortunately uh, I'm having some technical problems. So what I will do, I will I will record that later on, and I'll I'll just drop it in the. Um, the montage section so you can see roughly how quick these uh, arrows are coming out i imagine it's going to come out a little bit quicker than the um than the hoyt buffalo just because of these gorgeous limbs they're um they're sort of really uh, they've got carbon in there they're absolutely stunning but uh yeah we'll do some close-ups and uh, and bits and bobs uh so yeah i mean the only other difference is it's, it's a much chunkier handle than uh, the hoyt i mean i have to admit i prefer the hoyt handle to this handle but grips are it's such a personal preference what suits me might not suit you and so on and so forth so um but yeah so we can't really judge a, a bow on its grip but uh i think the only thing left for us to do is go and shoot this thing i've been dying to uh dying to fling a few arrows out of it so uh without further ado let's go and have a play okay so here we are at the practice range standing about 15 um 15 yards away from the practice butt let's see what the uh, rcx 17 um Let's see what she's got. Now I'm going to be shooting Eastern Axis Trad Carbons again. Now these arrows are 28 inches long, weighing in uh, just over 400 grains per arrow. And I'm drawing about a 27 and a half inch uh, draw length. So that should give you some, some idea of, uh, of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, let's just, let's just send a few arrows down range and see what she's got. It's nice, it certainly went exactly where I was looking. It, um, yeah, it, so I'm, I'll shoot another one. See what, uh, see what that does. Now, that, that, I mean, I've gone exactly where I was, I wanted them to. It's uh, shaping up to be a good group. I just can't feel anything. There's no, I just don't, can't feel anything in the bow hand. It's, uh, it really is. It's, it's, it's engineered to perfection, this bow. Absolutely, wait to win and win. So, uh, you know, they know bows. Um, yeah, it's, I can't fault that as a shooter. She is a sweet little shooter. Um, but yeah, I'm just not getting anything back from that hand. It's, I, I just can't feel anything. It's, uh, it's quite unusual. It feels, it feels not unlike a uh, Olympic style recurve to shoot. It, it's it, it's that that kind of vibe. Um, but yeah, she's smooth, very smooth, and very accurate. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the way she's shooting. Um, I mean, she is a good-looking bow, isn't she? She is absolutely stunning. Yeah, let's do the last couple.
Hmm. I, I can't fault it. But saying that, I don't know, it's, it's almost missing something. It's... There's no raw essence. It's, it's, too, it's too perfect. Does that make any sense? Am I, am I coming across as a bit mad? I don't know. But it, it's just... It, Yeah, can a bow, can a bow be too good? I I don't know. It just it's gorgeous to shoot, absolutely gorgeous. But uh, I, I don't know. It's almost like it's missing something. I don't know. I, maybe maybe I'm I'm so used to a a vibration in the hand or, or or some sort of feedback, but that is just so. I just don't feel anything. It's it's lovely, but. Uh, I think the best thing for us to do is go and have a play with it on the range and uh, see what she can do. All right, well, uh, I'll go and have some fun playing with that and I'll speak to you in a little bit. Okay, so that has been the Win & Win RCX-17 takedown field bow. Now, I think you're gonna be hard, hard pushed to find a better looking takedown, a modern takedown field bow anywhere. That is absolutely stunning. I, uh, I can't get over how good looking this bow is. It, it's, uh, I think I said on the unboxing, it's, uh, it's sexy. And I stand by that, it is a very sexy bow. Now, whether a bow is or isn't sexy is, uh, is a topic for another video, I think. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. The carbon running through it is stunning. The limbs, the, the, the same carbon pattern runs all the way through the limbs. It just, it's a marvel. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's engineered to absolute perfection. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a sweet little shooter as well. It's really accurate. Um, I was, I'm, I'm really impressed how accurate it was, sort of straight out the bag really. I've, I've done very little tune into it. Um, the only thing I've done is, is, is sort of adjust the brace height a little, but it, um, it is absolutely uh, a solid, solid shooter. Um, it feels more like a, feels more like a target recurve than a than a field bow. It's um, I think that's maybe because it, it's got such a short short riser but such long limbs. It's really smooth, incredibly smooth to draw. Um, 
but yeah, the, 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 it's I'm, I'm, it's hard to find fault with it. But if if there is one fault, it's it's almost this bow almost lacks a little bit of soul. Now I, I hope you understand what I mean when I say that. It's there's just a little bit of something missing with it. I, I don't. I think it's the fact that there's there's no there's no shock in it. There's no feedback. It's just such a in your in your bow arm that you you, you get nothing back. It it's just so so smooth. So I get I guess in a way that's not even a negative. That's 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 a positive. I guess I guess that's what some people are after. It's it's just not what I'm used to. But uh, but yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous bow. Absolutely gorgeous bow. Um, retails for five hundred and eighty six pounds and ninety two pence. Um, uh, on our website. It's available in three lengths. It's available in 62, 60 and 58 inch. Um, it's also available in camo if you want to go uh, if you want to go down that route. Um, all, also available in a variety of poundages. This is the 35 pound which is the lowest going all the way up to 65 pound in, in five pound increments. Um, but yeah that is the, uh, the Win & Win RCX 17. In my opinion a, a, a stunning bow and it, uh, it's a great little shooter. So uh, if you were thinking about getting one of those, I hope you found that useful. But uh, I've certainly had fun shooting it anyway. But uh, in my next video, I will be comparing this to the um, Hoyt Buffalo. And we'll see which one comes out on top. Um, see what uh, see what gets you more bang for your buck. But uh, yes, that's uh, that's for another day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. You take care. Shoot straight, and I'll uh, I'll see you on the internet. Bye bye. So what we're going to be looking at today is this here. Now this is the uh, Win & Win Black RCX 17. Now what it is, it's a short field style, um, field style bow.